Okay, hold it. Come on. Hand you in the back. Okay. She's just gone to sleep. I think we've probably got about eight hours. All of you, I need you going out there, putting on your A game. Okay, that means you. A little bit of dancing, a bit of drums. Yeah. But just go for it. I know you can do it. I've seen you do it before. Let's keep her here as long as we can. I reckon we might get 10, maybe 12 hours out of this one. Okay, we're putting on a show here. You're my star man. Go and knock her out. Okay, just keep her awake. If any of this goes wrong, our world disintegrates. It disintegrates. So, go ahead, showtime. That's pretty cool. Um, how, how long did the, the, the whole film take you to make? Did you, did you do it in one sitting, or...? Um, yeah, yeah, we met at like two, and they said if we bought two meals we could have the, the room until 12 midnight, so <laughs> we did. And so it was nice to feed the cast and crew, and thanks for everyone who like came along and helped and was involved. Um, you know, big thanks, please. <laughs> And, um, and thank you very much. And so, the, yeah, we filmed all in one day at like two locations, and it's nearby, and then it took like about a day to upload the day to them. Like, I think, I think the yeah, edit, edit and the, the grading and the score and everything was probably made, maybe like three days or something like that. I reckon some, something along yeah. along those lines, yeah. And came made the soundtrack, and so you know that that took you well as long as it, when I came back from holiday, you finished it. But I don't know how long it had taken you. But it was really good. <laughs> I think, I think yeah, a, lot of, a lot of the soundtrack was like bits I had lying around on my hard disk, and then some of them was me pressing random buttons as well, which uh, sort of did well watching the film. So yeah, maybe a few hours for that. Thanks very much. You, you look really confused when you're telling me these things, which <laughs> is quite hilarious, both of you. <laughs> but, but I think that's fun. Um, it's a confusing film as well. It, it is. It definitely is. Uh, have you heard of a band called Animal Collective, by any chance? I, I, heard, one yeah. of songs, I heard one of their songs called Girls, like a remix of it a while ago. Like, but um, I think Valkyrie's friend Joel, who's also finished as a she. It was good that last film, the one, the one set in Finland. I like that one. Um, that, that was sort, of, that was sort of he sort of put it on like a CD and sent it across. I mean, what have they done? Some interesting music videos or something? Do you think? They they perform on stage um, and they wear animal masks, but I think the film's better than them. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a really good thing. Um, what what did you film on? Um, what kind of camera? Like sixteen, Canon five fifty. Filmed it all with, oh, with oh oh yeah well you, I, I don't know what your lens was but the the, the the lens on mine was like a really fast lens which I thought helped with all the bokeh or whatever you meant to pronounce it you know the yeah. blurry depth of field yeah. shit yeah. and all that yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and, and you know you can set up as many lights as well yeah because I suppose it'd be like quite interesting to like ask you know the audience maybe we could like, turn it around a second like you know because we, we all we really like debated I suppose the bit we debated the most on was the when you see the lights in there because we were like they're actually in the film you know they're actually creating the lighting within the dream but whether anybody found that like off-putting or not the fact that you could see some big building lights in the film because that was some, that was, I think that was probably the longest debate with regards of editing, yeah. but but we were happy to keep it in in the end. So, but um, I don't know if anybody has any thoughts about that. What did you think? <laughs> what did you think? Lloyd's and Chalmers never looked so good. <laughs> <laughs> Lloyd's. Oh yeah, yeah. Back up to Lloyd's. Yeah, they let us use the room. Yeah, they're really really good. I recommend anybody um, for any occasion going to Lloyd's. Yeah. <laughs> Big up for Lloyds. All right. Um, great, great stuff. Okay. Um, we've got a question from the audience. Hello. Hi. Um, it, you said about the lighting and stuff. It kind of seemed almost like the characters in the film are trying to sort of create the film before the ending of the film arrives. Is that really a consideration? Is that why you kind of did that whole thing of having it as is? Sort of thing? Um, yeah, I mean, that's one of the ways to read it. I mean, I suppose that one of the ways is like uh, I was trying to get across was the fact that they're trying to control the other person's dream, but ultimately it is the other person's dream. So if they don't keep them occupied, then it will switch from one 
um, like torn to another. So uh, if you yeah, so that change of lighting would, is the important, and I think it was quite significant that we like managed. We did like that scene differently, and then sort of you know with the the grading and such like sort of achieved that in the editing. I was I, I was I was happy with the way that you know the the tran the change of lighting. Um, pre and post the, the penguin scene, yeah, that, that, that was what we were going for. I think it works. Uh, Kane, did you have anything to add to that? Um, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. It, I, I did quite like the way it turned out, like it looks like they're making the film as well. I'm kind of, kind of, kind of glad you, you sort of got that as a plus, really. I think, think sort of the way we do films mostly is a bit sort of along the lines of organised chaos sort of with the actual shooting because I, mean, I think Rich stayed pretty sober but I was pretty drunk <laughs> and mo most of the other people there were and they, it's kind of nice to sort of then have a sober day sort of the next day trying to figure out what you've just done and edit it so I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that you like the fact that, that all, the, um, all the lighting and things were, were still in it looked like they were making a film. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I, yeah, I did stay sober, and I did my, take off every shot on the shooting uh, shot shooting list. I like drew up a shooting list, and I made sure that I ticked off every shot. So I ticked off yeah. like all. Like, so I remember, you know, when anyone ever mentions organised chaos, I just go, every shot was ticked off. <laughs> so <laughs> I was, I, I was, uh, I was aware. <laughs> Are there any more questions from the audience? Come on, there must be a few. Oh, we've got one over here at the side of the stage. Yeah. Question was, was, is Richard one of the dudes that's fighting? Well, Richard, where did you get Charles Bronson from for two weeks? Um, what did you say of Charlton? And Johnny as well, he did the sound. He was the other boxer, because there was these um, two, two lads who said they were going to come and do some Thai boxing, but they, they, they didn't in the end, so we had to, we had to man up or step into the, into the breaches and the, say, in our moments of despair, we had to, you know, go ho and wax the lip and, you know, and um, a, a, a good job was done, I like to think, and sort of all in all. <laughs> 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 that was like old, that, like, yeah. old style adverts and filming and stuff, so I thought that was one of the really good qualities. Oh, um, yeah, that was certainly like, we, we like that, you know, that the coat. We're not saying like the Coen Brothers so much, but I, you know, just generally films that has like got a. I mean, like when you go into Simpsons and then it goes into like an expressionistic scene. I mean, if you can go back to like you know, early sort of German expressionism cinema, or you, you know, sort of, I don't know. I mean, Virgin Bull, or um, you know, any sort of you know like Scorsese sort of film where there's that sort of thing where you just got them the lighting change and you've maybe like a sort of homage and slightly referencing sort of the lighting of a different sort of period or. M moments in, um, like you know, the genre of the collective knowledge of like cinema history and that type of thing. So if, if yeah, we were trying to reference that thing, that type of thing. So I'm glad, I'm glad you like that. Can we all get involved in the next film? Please. <laughs> Shall we come up with a film right now? <laughs> what are we making next, guys? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if you all want to come along and be zombies, that would be really f helpful. Well, that'd be really fun, wouldn't it? Um, could uh, like um, start a group. Or, uh, that would be good. No, so, yeah, because. Um, yeah, I got an idea about like some people just driving along in a car, and the sat nav, sat nav is like instead of saying left or right, just says beware. <laughs> 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 and so we see what goes next. <laughs> think that wraps it up for the first half of Kino Short. So thank you very much to all our filmmakers again. And if you all want to go to the bar, go and get lots and lots of drinks from this lovely
lovely three minute theatre please do and we'll be back pretty soon, cheers.